Wanted mm. in France and Germany and the Czech Republic. Hey guys, what is up? Today we have ourselves a... Dad, what, what is this? It's a Creality. Okay, it's a Creality. Whatever the hell that is. Why don't you read the box? Made in China. That side up, handle with care, afraid of wet. <laughs> does it say afraid of wet? It does say it is a 3D printer enclosure. So we're going to be assembling a? 3D printer enclosure. Because at Paul's workshop, we're not just fixers, we're also... D uh, repairers? Makers. I was close. All right, <laughs> should we get started? Yeah. All right, let's just crack open this damn thing. I don't want to find a spot to puncture it, you know? You're going the wrong way with the knife. I know. You're going the wrong way without it. Well, I think you can see the afraid of wet. All right, see if you can open it now without cutting the, yeah. Oh, whatever, we'll figure that out later. All right, yeah. Hope that didn't screw anything up. There we go. Look at that, what do we got? Right here we have some sort of sack. Alright, what's then, in the box? Then we also have some corners and some poles. So Boy Scouts like putting together a tent, right? Yeah. What do you think, time lapse? Sure. Alright. What we want to get here is the final outlook. Okay, so if you look, you have, see these, Paul, you have numbered um, tubes. Yeah, yeah. So under. three, one, and two, or one, two, and three, if you're more traditional. And then if you look at the final outlook, <laughs> right. the frame structures. So they tell you the twos go there, the ones go there, the threes go there. Right. right, so I'm guessing twos, twos, ones, ones, three, 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 one, one, two, two. Does that sound right? Yeah, that's how rectangular prisms work. All right, we got the top and the bottom completed, so. What do they look like? Show, hold, to give us a good look at them. They look like rectangles. Yeah, so they're two rectangular frames. Kind of like putting together a tent, kind of, sort of, right? A very vaguely. Tents are a lot more frustrating. Well, we haven't tried to put the cover on it yet, so. That's true. All right, so we have to open up those, and those are going to give us our uprights. All right, yes. Listen. Yeah, I got some ice cream from... The ice cream yeah, we had to pause because the ice cream truck came. Yeah. Okay, so while Junior uh, scarfs down that ice cream, here's our frame. We had to move it, actually. It's on top of our laser cutter, which we're thinking of doing some videos on that, too. That's an atom stack. So we've got some videos coming up maybe on that, too. But So here's our frame, and we're going to put the, um, what do you call that, the covering? We'll yeah. put the covering on. Okay, this is the, the other covering. Official has the zipper. Wait, is it supposed to be like that? It's weird. You can flap it up. So you can see. It'll make more sense once it, once it's uh, once the frame is in it. Okay, so it looks a little strange right now, but so you unzip the top, and that's going to allow you to drop this frame in. What's kind of cool is this all um, comes apart. So when you don't want to use it, it's not taking everything up in your, in your garage. Okay, so it was just a matter of finessing it in. And you can see it didn't take long, right? Because Paul's still eating his original cone. Yeah. So. All right. So we'll show you what that looks like with uh, the 3D printer set up in it. So, hey, Paul, why don't you say abracadabra? Ab uh, abracadabra. All right. Here it is in there. It's got a nice little, like, room. Let's see. There it is. Let me try my new panning. All right, go ahead. I'm going to try my new panning uh, dolly here. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here's our new panning dolly. Yep. 
works like a charm. And okay. The, the so wire you can really see inside. Okay. Yeah, there's the wire coming out of this side. Okay, yeah. So let's get a little closer. Don't be shy. Cheese. No, no cheese. Ice cream. Okay. Oh, okay. cheese. So there you can see. Yeah, so you can see where the wire goes in. Give that a point on the inside where our camera is. Oh, yeah. See, so it has that. And then it has openings on the one side over here. So it has... It has Velcro, a Velcro opening here. So you have access over there. Okay, I can pop this in this little pocket. Yeah, you have that little pocket. There's a storage pocket on the outside there. Yeah. And then you can also open the top. You can open the top for... There's a kit that they sell for ventilation, so you can add that here if you wanted to, or you could leave it open if you need to control the temperature. Also, you can do that to let in light. Uh, one of the issues that we've had with the 3D printer, it works really well inside, but out here in the garage, uh, it doesn't really like to print. So keeping it in here, is, in this enclosure, is going to give it keep it a more controlled uh, temperature environment. So yep. this is the Creality uh, 3D printer enclosure. We're going to put the link in the description. It's right now. It's I think it was it's thirty five dollars right now on Amazon. Pretty good price. So yeah, it's a really good price, and uh, I'm thinking next uh, video we're going to do is going to be a 3D printing video, nice. right? So what do you think, Paul? Yeah, uh, stay tuned, subscribe because we want to hit a thousand, and yeah, see our next videos. You're a rectangular prison. No, no I'm very clearly not. All right, let's get crack a lacking, kiddo.